Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. The beautiful Taylor Swift. 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 I made up my mind that if you were gonna be this generous and give us this, I, I thought it might be a fun moment to tell you that. that my brand new album comes out October 1st. I want your midnights, but I'll be cleaning up bottles with you on New Year's Day. Hello, Auburn High School. I'm Lily Ondi. And I'm Cordy Burke. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Tiger TV Swifty Special. AHS plans to pink out the duck on October 28th. Our theme this year is to wipe out cancer. Dress Hawaiian theme along with your pink shirt for the game. Use the My School Bucks link on Schoology to purchase your shirt, or you can purchase it through a host of member with cash or check. Boost the unit's reputation by coming out to the game. Attention seniors! Seniors will need to log in with their school credentials and complete the diploma name verification form using the link on Schoology. Please complete the form by Wednesday, November 30th. More information can be found on Schoology. If you don't fill out this form, you're on your own, kid. Auburn University's Honor Serves students will offer free ACT tutoring sessions on Thursday afternoons at AHS in our school. Be fearless and prep for the ACT. From AHS, Ms. Julie Eccles, the educators in training teacher, help us win the Beat Bama Food Drive. There are only 27 midnights until Thursday, November 17th, the due date. Drop off your donations in AHS room 3132. I had a sleepless night last night. Why? Are you living under a rock? Taylor Swift Midnights came out last night. Oh, that's why we're doing this whole special? Hey, how's it going? Are you wondering why your school news station has been taken over by Taylor Swift fans? Well, I'm Cal Floyd. And I'm Frank Alexander. And we're here to maybe make the transition a little easier and explain it a little bit. Taylor Swift is a longtime singer-songwriter, only increased popularity over the last decade. She is very accomplished. Here are three fun facts about her, and maybe a little surprise at the end. Fact number one, despite the last name, Taylor Swift's speed has never been officially recorded, although some sources tell me she has at least used a treadmill before. Fact number two, uh, Taylor Swift is 32 years old, but she turns 33 on December 13th. But in our hearts, she'll always be 22. Fact number three, Midnight, the album released today, is her 10th studio album. Not only is that an even number, it's double digits. A very impressive feat, and today's show is to celebrate that. Wait, what is this? Is this a bonus fact? What does it say? Oh, oh, uh, DUCK! I wonder what the weather is like. Hopefully there's some midnight rain. There could even be some snow on the beach. Me too. Let's go check out the five day forecast here in the city of Auburn. Auburn High School. I'm Olivia and I'm Allie with your high school sports. Tonight Auburn High football travels to play Prattville at 7 p.m. at the Stanley Jensen Stadium. You can watch on the NFHS network and keep up with the game on Twitter by following Auburn High football. You can also watch HS Countdown Auburn High football's pregame show later today on our YouTube page. Flag football sent the seniors home happy with a big win on senior night 13 to 6. The ladies finished the regular season and will host the area 3 and 4 tournament next Wednesday and Thursday. They will host Valley Wednesday at 5 p.m. and the championship game is at 5.30 on Thursday. Auburn Volleyball swept Baker yesterday 3-0 in the 7A South Regional Tournament, punching their ticket to state. Today they will play to figure out their seeding in the state tournament. They play McGill-Tulin at 10 a.m. 
That's it for your Auburn High School sports update. For more information, visit ahsmassmedia.com. And as always, you can check out our YouTube page for full broadcasts and highlights from past sporting events. Until next time, I'm Olivia. And I'm Allie. With your high school sports. AHS's FFA slash Vet Science students need your help. They are collecting items for the Safe House of Opelika. Check Schoology for a list of items that are being collected and where the collection boxes are located. The Sheet, AHS's literary and art magazine, will accept general submissions all year through Friday, April 14th. They accept drawings, graphic design, photography, short stories, and poetry. In the words of our Lord and Savior Taylor Swift, they do not accept breakdowns, crying, or a train that runs off its tracks. If you have any questions, please email thesheetauburn at gmail.com or contact Ms. Mushera in AHS room 1343. The Sheet is happy to announce that the short story competition has officially started. Students can submit applications from October 3rd to, to November 5th. The story must comply with the horror slash mystery theme to be considered eligible for the competition. Speak now if you want to be part of the competition. More information can be found on Schoology. Attention students, if you have taken three years of Spanish and would like to be considered for a membership in the Spanish Honor Society, please reach out to Senor Irwin for instructions on how to apply. The deadline for applying is Monday, October 31st. If you don't, the world will move on another day, another drama drama. I wonder what else is going around the school. I wonder if we have any more Swifties. Cordy, I'm going to let you finish, but I just wanted to say Cal and Frank had the best segment of all time. But I digress. Let's check these others out. Hey, Swiffers! Swifties! Swiffers! Whatever. Today we're going to be ranking Taylor Swift's albums, and we have never listened to Taylor Swift's albums. We don't know anything about Taylor Swift, to be honest with you. But we're just going to uh, rank them based on how they look. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into this. Okay, so the first Taylor Swift album we have is Fearless. And I've never listened to it, but I've only heard bad things from Taylor Swift fans and from people on the internet. So. Not even rating it off the album cover, just the music quality I've heard about this. We're gonna put this in the bottom tier. Are you serious right now? Horrible. Like, horrible album, honestly. Now, I don't know anything about this album, but just rating it off the cover, it was way better than the last one. So I'm assuming the music quality is up a higher tier than the last one. I'm just assuming. Maybe there's something. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the weekly land. I think you should go in the great category. Yeah, I think you should go in the great category. Great category. One of the greatest Taylor Swift albums of all time. I just know it. I don't think. Oh. This is a gut feeling telling me it is. So, let's see what's up next. I think this one is folklore from what the Taylor or like Swifters have told me about this uh, stuff. I think that's what it is. A little less like the and I heard this is supposed to be like a story or something. Like she like made a whole story and all that. So like because of that, she put all this effort in it. I think it's mid, honestly. But, like you know, at least she tried. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is our most recent album. I've heard some mixed opinions about this one from all the fans out there in the world and myself. Ain't that right, Trina? Like, me and you were trying to listen to this and, like, I was asleep within 10 minutes. Yeah, oh, okay. And because of that, I'm gonna put this in Impeccable, guys. And, and honestly, I think it's one of the best <laughs> albums we could have ever gotten. And now, just solely off of the Kendrick Lamar feature, yeah. this is, like, Kendrick on Beyonce Lamar level carried. because I, like, I, he carried that song and everyone can agree with me on that. Can you, can you please not throw something at me? Caught it. Now, uh, we go on to the next. Ooh, this looks like something that like an early 2000s, mm -hmm. like 
my daddy's rich Disney movie type stuff. So like, and I know her daddy was rich as bought all the toys for sales, and that's why he's successful. And because of that, and because her dad put so much money into it, yeah, it's gotta be mid. But like, you know, the music, the, music, the quality of the music is not level. It's gotta be. Mid. Um. That's three right Disney. Disney. That's three Disney. That's full Hannah Montana. It is. That's honestly like <laughs> terrible. She's trying to be Jesus. Lovers, man, ain't no one ever loved you. Man. Put that in great. Great. <laughs> <laughs> because no one ever loved her, and that's a great opinion to have. Honestly, that's why it's going. <laughs> okay. In 1989, that's old. That is old. Only old about, people listen to 1989 music. I know, but like it came out like. 2014 or something, and I heard it was actually good. Oh, from one of the audience members. What would you? Because of that, I think we're gonna put this. Uh, what spots that we got? I say, I say, impeccable. I'm not impeccable because the album cover kind of hard. Dude. Yeah. So, I hope all you Swifters out there enjoyed this. In my opinions, as an expert on the subject, and our opinions as a yeah. whole. Uh-huh. And uh, enjoy the rest of the special. Auburn City Schools recently introduced a way for bus riders' parents to know their assigned bus's location using the free app, Where's the Bus? To join and create an account, first go to Where'sthebus.com on your browser or download the app in your app store. From there, you should be able to see a Create Account button. Next, make sure that you set your school district to Auburn City Schools. After that, you will have to fill in some student information including their birth date and student ID. If you do not know your student's ID, it can be found under the Demographic Info section of Paris School. Make sure to save. Make sure that all the bus information shown is accurate. This is also the time to add a student if needed. If finished, click the Continue button. Next, you fill out the user information including your first and last name, email, and password. And as soon as you click sign up, you'll be able to see your student's bus's location. One account is recommended to be utilized by anyone who needs access including parents, guardians, students, grandparents, etc. If you have any questions or difficulties, email support at wheresthebus.com. Getaway car. Okay, you belong with me. Okay, mi canción favorita de Taylor Swift is 22. <laughs> Love story. Reputation. Red. <laughs> Red. <laughs> ah. Are you a Swifty? No, I'm a grown man. Are you ready for it? Are you a Swifty? <laughs> Absolutely. A very big Swifty, yes, of course. What's your favorite album? Uh, right now, Evermore, but it changes. Um, speak now. All right, I don't know the albums, but I like that song. Someday I'll be living in a big old city, but all you're ever gonna be is me. Why are you excited for the new Midnight album? Because it's 13 sleepless nights throughout Taylor's life. And I've had sleepless nights, and Taylor's had sleepless nights, so I'm basically Taylor Swift. And the vinyl is pre-ordered, and it's on its way to my house right now, so. Could not be more excited, I'm gonna stay up all night. Oh yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. So, two more days. Hi, I'm Madison. Hi, I'm Maya. And this is our Taylor Swift Finish the Lyrics. Yee. Do you know your Taylor, baby? Do you know your Taylor, baby? <laughs> I do. <laughs> now we got bad boys. <laughs> you know, we used to have problems. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, ma'am. The haters gonna hate. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. <laughs> you know your Taylor, baby? Mm hmm. Yes. Finish the lyric. The haters gonna hate. The haters gonna hate, 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 hate. I'm just gonna. Yes. Ain't it shake? Yeah. All right, yeah, shake, shake, shake. Hi guys, and thanks for watching. Do you know your Taylor baby? Hey guys, and welcome.
welcome back to Courtney's Controversial Opinions. This episode, Taylor's version. In honor of the Swifty special, we're going to be ranking Taylor's albums. Okay, so, what's your favorite album? Reputation. That's also my favorite. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I think it's nostalgia. It was, I was in middle school when it came out, and I went to the concert in Atlanta, and I shook her hand, and I feel like that just changed. She's never washed his hand since. <laughs> yeah, as you can tell. <laughs> okay, what about the Taylor's version, like Fearless and Red? Which one is your favorite out of those two? Fearless and Red, probably Red. Like, especially also about the 10-minute version, Taylor's version. Like, it I, just has, like, I watched that at the football game. Like, it came out on a football game, and I was just like, a changed oh. woman, you know? What's your, what's your least favorite Taylor album? Lover. <laughs> I had a break from Taylor in 2019. Wait, is yours Lover too? No, oh, but okay. I just, I didn't like Lover and then I listened to it and then I liked it. Um, yeah. I think my least favorite. I think that one just gave me too much like kids bop. Yeah, sorry, Brendan Yuri, me. Yeah. That was a flop. It gave me too much kids bop. <laughs> yeah. It goes like Reputation, Red, Speak Now, Folklore. Um, and then the rest. Okay, but like the first, I, it's Taylor Swift, like the first album. That like is like my peak as a country gal, as a southern woman. Her and country era, like she's just so versatile. She is, and people like. That's why she's the best exact, in the world. People hate on her for switching things up, and then they look back, and it's like this is the most amazing album like, in the world. Sorry, I think because pe people hated on folklore when it came out because it was different than what she usually does, and then folklore is like one of the most breathtaking. I'm crying while I drive myself home from work. Albums. <laughs> Taylor Swift can never write a bad song. No. Brendan Urie can collab on that song and ruin it, but she can never write a bad song. No. Yeah. Thank y'all for watching Cordy's controversial opinions. Taylor's version. <laughs> That's it for today's episode. You can keep up with us Tiger TV by searching AHS Mass Media on YouTube. You can also keep up with us on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram by searching AHS Mass Media. And you can now listen to podcasts on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and Apple Podcasts by searching AHS Mass Media. More episodes will be added as time goes on. I'm Lily Andy. And I'm Cordy Burt. And, and thanks, thanks for watching, watching Tiger TV. TV. Swifty Special! Special.